pretties welcome back to my channel good morning if you're new here my name is tanya and i film all kinds of pink girly beauty fashion and lifestyle videos on this channel if that's something you're into make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and push bell notifications so you don't miss any of my videos it's another day in the unpacking series if you guys are not aware i made a whole playlist of my unpacking vlogs so if you have not checked that out and if you missed any of them it will be linked down below or right here on the corner i've already made myself a green smoothie this morning and we're ready to get started on some packing and cleaning so let me show you guys what is going on and then we'll get started if you guys are wondering this is what i'm wearing i found my pajamas so i am wearing really comfy victoria's secret pajamas which is perfect for today because we are not getting ready today guys this is it this is gonna be it because we're just going to be organizing this entire room today basically 12 hours of unpacking and organizing this room so i just don't feel like there's a point in like putting on makeup so yeah so we just have some cute pajamas cute slippers and we're gonna light a nice candle we're gonna get to cleaning organizing setting up this new closet i hope you guys are excited probably the day i've been anticipating for so long is the day i get my pax closet you guys know how i feel about my beauty room closet it's just my sanctuaries <laughs> Guys, I don't think I need to explain very much. I have been organizing and separating things in boxes in the middle of getting ready because it was my best friend's birthday yesterday with her brunch, so I had to pop open this box and it just it's turned into this. Pack system delivered our closet system and this cannot be a thing right now because we need room to be able to put it in here um, so we have a couple of boxes i'm gonna try to stack all of these because we have one more here i'm gonna try to stack all of these in the corner to just to get them out of the way um we also have my impressions vanity i finally got the last piece delivered today as well everything's just happening today for some reason and so um yeah we'll probably also be putting that together if i don't get really exhausted from putting together other things and then i do have <laughs> okay guys don't judge me okay i know you're judging me it's okay so i i opened the suitcase and it turned into this um a lot of it is like bras and panties and lingerie in here as well so i think i'm gonna go through this whole thing and put everything away to get it out of the way because this is the wall that the closet's gonna go on so we need everything kind of gone and yes some stuff just like came out it's lingerie guys we're all girls here so yeah stuff is just on the floor where i just like was digging through this and um we have more boxes along this island they're smaller boxes so i feel like these are okay like i don't think they'll get in the way too much and uh yeah that's what this room is looking like big mirror which you know this mirror does not have light bulbs because they're in a box somewhere so we gotta find those and luckily luckily this room gets the most light in the entire apartment so i'm really happy about that i mean the vanity is kind of gonna go against the window so it might cover up some of the lighting but the cool thing is that this this whole apartment has cam lighting like the spotlights so i'm getting to the switch it gets so bright in here because these manny was able to change the temperature to daylight because the cam lights they're led lights so you're able to like change the temperature on them i don't know if you guys knew that or not manny knew that i didn't know that so yeah we can actually like you see these are warm and then these are um, daylight so he has to change these two for me still but yeah i thought i would share with you guys that that's really cool especially for like a room that's going to be a walk-in closet it's awesome to have this kind of lighting when you get ready so yeah aside from the window and this room being the brightest in natural daylight it also has these cam lights so it's going to be a great filming room and I think it gets so much light because it has the giant mirror doors that reflect the light all around the room probably.
I want to say we're about halfway through this box. This is all stuff that needs a hanger. This is all lingerie. Believe it or not, it's organized. <laughs> we have bras, lingerie, lingerie, panties, pajamas. Yeah. So I'm going to go take this to our bedroom because I have a dresser there where I'm keeping all this stuff for now. I don't know if it's going to stay that way. But that's why you guys are on this journey with me. So we can organize everything together. Maybe you guys get some organization ideas. Yeah, I know this is not the best organized, but for now we're going to throw all the underwear in the drawer and eventually we'll get little organizers for these drawers and things, but for now, this is how it's going to be. She has been delivered. You probably won't believe that. <laughs> this is a whole closet right here. It just looks small, but we have to put all of this together now. I'm confused. I mean, I know these are shelves. But like, where are the drawers? I am confused. I think we're missing a few things, but they did schedule it in two separate deliveries, but I just thought he had delivered it all because it just looked like a lot. But we have all the frames, so that's good because this can this is what needs to go first. Okay guys, so after I checked everything, like all the packages that IKEA brought, they didn't bring the clothing rods, so I checked my email and apparently they were out of stock. Um, so I went in store to try to find them. They're out of stock everywhere. <laughs> so I might have to DIY some clothing racks, but this is all we were able to get done because we spent the majority of our day at Ikea. Um, we went to the gym and then I'll just insert some clips right here of like what happened, you know? So guys, we came to Ikea because... Bunny, look at me. Donkey Kong. <laughs> Ikea because, okay, so the little pull-out trays from the pack system, they come with these organizers, but online, I didn't see them, like I didn't see the ones I liked. They had some, but they didn't look the same. So I wanted to just come look in stores, and I mean, it's Ikea. Who doesn't want to come to Ikea? Okay, so as you guys saw, I went to the gym, and then we went to Ikea. And we were there for the majority of the evening. Like, we came home at like 8.30ish, and then Manny and I put together one frame, <laughs> and then we were exhausted. We're going to be finishing the rest of the frames today. The good news is we did this frame, because this frame is going to be all shelving, because my... Vanity is gonna be right here, so we can't put drawers because then we won't be able to like pull them out because the vanity will be right next to it So this is gonna be all shelving for like shoes or bags. I don't even know and I can go ahead and Start putting the shelving because they're just shelves So I'm going to start doing that. I'm gonna put them in there and I guess I can show you guys but it's really basic white shelves, like it's nothing special. There's still three more frames that are gonna go here <laughs> with drawers and things, um, but this one is pretty boring, it's just shelves. And I'm hoping that a lot of like shoes will fit because I have a lot of shoes and that has always been my struggle is like storing my shoes. I've never really had enough storage for my shoes, I feel like. So hopefully this will be enough storage because I'm going to have this full shelf of like shoes, possibly bags if there's room, but I will have more shelving on the other side of the room for bags. This is a very well thought out walk-in closet because I've been planning it for like a whole two months. I got the dimensions of this room before we even moved in and I've been like planning what I can do in here. Just And I, I genuinely just want a very functional beautiful closet obviously i'm going to make it look pretty but i want it to also be very functional therefore that's why i decided not to put a couch in my beauty room this time because i would rather have more shelving here's a good example we have this whole other side of the room right so we have my mirror realistically i could put my mirror in the corner and then i could put a pink sofa but i really want to be able to store all my things and have room to grow so instead of a sofa, I'm going to keep my island, obviously, because that's more storage. But I'm going to put shelving on either side of these, this mirror, this like Hollywood mirror, um, that are going to go all the way to the top as well. <laughs> like 
likely just my bags are gonna go on this wall it's gonna be like my bag wall and the plan is for that to be my bag wall and this to be like my shoe section um, but we'll see if that even works out and then we're gonna have my vanity against the wall here I like that because I can get natural lighting when I do my makeup the Mirror is gonna cover some of the window which this is how it was in my other beauty room anyway and I liked it so yeah and of course we're gonna have my island and then we have this big old like closet thing we have a lot of room in this closet in itself like I'm getting shelves that are gonna go all the way up to the top so I can put all of my sneakers and casual things I'm getting some little drawers. I know guys, just excuse this. We kind of just threw everything in here. But um, I'm gonna be getting some drawers that go down here like a dresser type thing um, with drawers so I can put more things. Um, I was thinking about getting shelves to go down the middle of this, but I'm not sure if I wanna do that. <laughs> Alright guys, all the frames are done and now we have to build all the inner parts and yes, we still have to nail this back piece better because we missed a spot, <laughs> clearly. Um, I was thinking of just leaving it because like drawers go right there so you won't really be able to see it so I might just leave it so don't like judge me. Cause I'm kind of dreading pulling this out just to nail that piece right there. Yeah, I started to put the shelves on this one because this is going to be like all shelves. I've debated whether I want to put a clothing wrap, but like I told you guys, I really want functionality and I have a lot of shoes. So this might just be a full on shoe storage thing. Meanwhile, these three pulled other things, but the walk-in closet has progress. So hey guys, day three and I have done all the drawers almost. I have like two or three more drawers to finish and I have installed the middle one all by myself. So I'm very proud of myself because I went to the gym the other day as I told you guys and I think I just went a little too hard. Like I underestimated how out of shape I really am. And so I tried to do my beginner workout that I would do when I would just be out of the gym for a little bit. But obviously I'm more out of shape than that. So I am like in pain. But yeah, I went ahead and installed all this myself. I'm about to do the top shelf like that one on this middle one. I have it laying right there and oh my goodness you guys I can't believe I did this by myself. <laughs> so you know with me being as sore as I am it's hard to like have you guys ever had paid a gym leg that was just like too much for you because you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> just got back from grocery shopping I finally went to Trader Joe's everybody always tells me about Trader Joe's or asks me if I've gone to Trader Joe's okay I'm exaggerating I'm like everyone but really it was probably like two people but yeah <laughs> some people told me to go to Trader Joe's and then we went to Ralph's um, so I thought I'd give you guys a little haul the first thing being pink let me show you guys we found pink Dr. Peppers what strawberries and cream these are actually good these are actually really good. Here's the pack right here. You guys need it. You need it, go find this. We found these at Ralph's, not Trader Joe's. We also got some food to eat from Ralph's, like already made food. Ralph's was basically like a market street. We had a market street, if you guys are familiar with that. And it's like the same thing. I think it's ran by the same people. Cause it was literally the exact same. Here's what we got from Trader Joe's. Manny loves carrot cake, so we got carrot muffins and then I got these pita bite crackers and I forgot to get hummus so we gotta go back to Trader Joe's because apparently I also need to try the cinnamon rolls and I didn't get those either so we gotta go back <laughs> did get this looked really good this is the white bean chicken chili soup I guess we will try this in a vlog and I will tell you guys if I like it dates I don't know Manny got these I don't really the like these it just, he says it has a lot of protein. Here you go if you're interested. Yeah, I don't like, I don't like dates, so. Not those kinds of dates. I like the kind of dates where I get spoiled and, you know, taken to dinner and 
stuff, but not those kinds of dates. So then we got, this is the main reason why I went in. We needed some protein, so we got some chicken. We got some ground turkey. Okay, so I got these macarons. I hope they're amazing. I don't know, we'll see. More spinach, I love spinach. And I got oat milk. It looked like it would be good oat milk, so we got oat milk. And then we got stuff at Trader Joe's. Uh, no, not at Trader Joe's. <laughs> that was it from Trader Joe's. We got stuff at uh, Ralph's. We got some chicken fajita things. And then he got these mainly to, you know, for work when he doesn't feel like cooking because I'm gonna be gone for a week. I mean, we both cook though. You guys know that. If you've been here long enough, it's not like just one person cooks, we book. But I'm about to be gone for a whole week. I'm going back home to fix my veneer. So that's where I'm going. Um, we got, these are really good. We love these. These are little pineapple juices from my VA energy drinks that I really like. Oh, I got pink cups. Another pink item. Because uh, I'm tired of washing cups. <laughs> So we got pink cups. We got these juices. We got, oh, my favorite yogurt that I showed you guys in the last vlog, but I got the cherry flavor this time. Um, I got this. So this is better than bouillon. This is vegetable base, and I got this to make protein pasta, um, to make like a, a sauce for my protein pasta. It, we, Manny got these Canada Dry minis. It's like, and then we got Bro. some ruffles. Oh, it's, gin, it's ginger ale. Well, obviously it says on there. I like getting these little zero carb, whatever. What are these? Keto tortillas. I don't know. I really like them. They're good. Like the flavor on them is like really good. Usually I just do corn tortillas, but I really liked these because they have like the tomato flavor. I don't know. I got a chicken salad. I have some little like croissants. Over here, so I'm gonna make little croissant chicken salad sandwiches to eat right now because I'm starving. So we got some pink salt, the Himalayan salt. Then we got this one at Trader Joe's. I don't know what it's doing over here. And we got this juice at Ralph's. That's everything. Oh, and this the sauce. It's like a green sauce. Okay, guys, here's my dinner. Little chicken salad croissants. It looks so freaking good. Uh, and then we got these chips. I'm probably gonna just put a few of them on the side. Good morning, it is 7 a.m. and this is what I'm doing. I'm trying to finish up the closet. So if you guys are wondering why it's taking me so long to build this, like it's taken me all week, literally all week. Like it's been four days since I started building this. It's because we live in apartments now and we cannot make noise past 10. I mean, if we really wanted to, we could risk it and like, you know, finish building it and hope no one complains, but I'm not that kind of person. Like I'm not going to make noise past 10 on a work weekday when there's people who work and are probably sleeping. I just find that to be very disrespectful. So our cutoff time is like we stop at 9.30 just to like not make noise late. We'll work earlier, you know what I mean? Like Manny goes into work at like four, he gets up at four in the morning to go to work. So he's in bed by like nine anyway. I could continue to build it myself because that's what I've been doing anyway. Manny helped me make the frames and then he attached the top shelves, basically the parts that I can't reach, but um, he told me he would build all of it for me, but I'm too stubborn and I want it done quicker, so... <laughs> so I'm over here doing things solo, so I built all the drawers myself, and then I attached all the parts I can reach, basically, from here down, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's why it's taking so long, because I've only been working at it, like, a few hours a day, because I also have had a school, so it's not like I wake up and just, like, build the closet. I wake up usually and, like, do school work and clean the house and do other things um I really do need to record more like vlogs I feel like I'm bad at vlogging because I've been away from vlogging for a little while I was doing a lot of sit down videos there for a time and so I just kind of forget to pick up the camera guys so you guys will have to just bear with me while I get back into it but I woke up this morning I was like okay focus Tanya you have to vlog so <laughs> Yes, I am building the rest of the pack. So this, this bottom part, it's all going to be the same as this. 
However, I'm not doing these shelving, shelvings on all of it. These two are gonna have clothing rods because I need more like hanging space than just this closet here. Um, I did think about, I think I told you guys I thought about putting a clothing rod on this one as well, but for now it's gonna be a shoe shelf. I have updates though. The clothing rods were sold out. I think I might've already told you guys this as well. See, I forget what I vlogged. If I did, I'll just cut it out right here, but. Um, yeah, they they were out of stock of the clothing rods for this size. This is a 29 inch size and um, They didn't have them so we might either DIY something from like Home Depot I have like gold rods that I can use but Manny needs to cut them because they don't fit exactly And I don't know how much noise that would make or I might take them to Home Depot and see if they can cut them <laughs> We might do that or we might drive an hour the next Ikea is an hour out, which I don't think it's that bad. It's California, so everything's fairly far. Like, anywhere you go is like 30 minutes and up. So, like, we really don't mind. We were already, like, prepared to be driving far distances when we're here because we know it's, like, so spread out. But, yeah, we might go to the next Ikea that does have them in stock and just schedule an order for pickup. And then I do need two more shelves here. I miscalculated the height, like whenever I was planning it on the Ikea Pax Builder. And so I'm gonna need two more or three more shelves because shoes are not that tall. I'm gonna drill these in. If you guys don't know how to build Ikea drawers, I guess I'll give you a little rundown in case you are also building this. So it's basically fairly simple. I start from the bottom up so I don't have to like measure too much where everything goes. Cause if you start like from the middle down, like here down, I guess I technically could because I already have this one ready, but then it's harder to like reach underneath for the drawers. Like, you know what I mean? You'll have to like crouch in there because you'll have stuff in the way. So always start from the bottom up, just a tip. And then these things, they will go on the next hole up. So you notice how it doesn't reach that bottom one. So it's gonna go on the next one up here. And then the other hole will line up perfectly on that side once you have that one in. So I like to grab my screwdriver. I need a pink tool set from Amazon ASAP because Manny's tools, they're not cute, okay? But I mean, he has tools, so that's good because I don't know how to explain to you guys that it's attractive to me for a man to like know how to do these things. I don't know if that's just me, like, but I just look like I, it's not that I looked because I didn't really know if Manny knew how to do stuff like this when I met him I fell in love with him for other reasons like we both had very like similar interests similar like beliefs similar views similar moral compass but the fact that he like knows how to do stuff like this and like even if he doesn't know he finds a way or like he like figures it out is so attractive to me because it to me it like symbolizes someone who like is willing to learn and somebody who is like open-minded and like interested in helping me and i guess i felt really alone like a lot of my life so like him willing to help me do stuff like this and help me get ahead in life and help me reach my dreams that's something that like is so golden to me like i don't know how else to explain it but Yes, relationships in the past where I've had to, like, I know how to build stuff, obviously, but I've had to do it alone. Like, I know, I didn't have someone who would help me because they either, A, like, were like, oh, no, I don't know how to build stuff, like, and would just give up, like, wouldn't even try, or B, like, they just were not interested because it wasn't, like, for them. Does that make sense? Like, oh, well, that's your closet, so you build it, you know? So, I don't know, just, like... Manny's attractiveness went to a million whenever I saw that he was so willing to help me and so willing to learn certain things just to help me. I think you guys understand what I'm getting at. And now I went on another tangent. I'm just very talkative this morning, apparently. Okay, let's do this. So, I hope this is a good little representation. So you want to take a screwdriver and I don't screw it in all the way with the screwdriver because it just annoys me to have to like tighten things with a screwdriver because I have little hands and so my wrist hurts easily. <laughs> so then we will do the same to this top one and just line it up and screw it in like 
just enough for it to like hold it, you know? And then I will take the drill. And I, I have it on like the level 2 setting, I believe, or something. I don't know. It's like the one of the lowest settings. You don't want to have it on high because you will break your furniture. So, and I just very slowly drill it in. If you go too fast, you will strip your screw. So don't go too fast. Because if you ever want to take your packs apart and move it, screw uh stripped screws are not going to be your best friend it's going to be so hard for you to take this apart if you strip your screws so don't do that <laughs> so just very 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 slowly after you have these i'm going to show you guys something you have to do because i forgot to do it on the first two and don't forget to do it let me show you hold on these little pieces and I don't know why I totally, why won't these come out? I don't know why I totally like just missed them, but you're going to want to put them here. Now the instructions say to pull this out, like to pull the ledge out and then slide the drawer in, but I'm not going to do that. I find it harder if you do that. So I just leave it tucked in and then I add these little metal things. Are you guys seeing where I'm putting it? Yeah, it goes there. It's hard to do this and then look at the camera screen. <laughs> okay, so we have another one on the other side. Okay, so when you slide the drawer in, there's little holes in the back that are going to attach to the railing. And then when you set it down, there's also little hooks that are going to like set into the bottom. And then you can like pull out the drawer, make sure that those are in there. Okay, and then we have, where's the other one? There it is. And we have these little plastic pieces and these are going to be hammered to the bottom that metal piece that we put in. There's a little hole. Let me show you guys. Have you seen that? So there's a little hole. So this, this is going to go in here. I have not gotten my nails done because I've been building stuff all week and I don't want to break them, so... And you're going to hammer it in. Once you hammer it in, you twist it and this holds the drawer in place so it doesn't lift. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Yes, I don't have a hammer, so I'm using a screwdriver as a hammer and it's worked out just fine so far. There we go. You guys see that? Now you will like twist it. And what this does is it makes sure you cannot lift the drawer out of the thing on accident or whatever very doable my only advice is like for the frames you might need help like it doesn't have to be a guy like you can ask one of your girlfriends to help you um but you will need help to like lift it up because when you build it you build it laying down and like getting it up like even manny like manny and i had to lift this together to get it up because <laughs> it's not easy to get up because it's so tall if you're not careful, it will scrape your ceiling. Like, there's, like, a way to lift it up. Like, and it, you can only do it with two people. You can get someone to help you do your frames. You can literally build this so easy yourself. Girl power, girl. You could do it. You got this. The rest of, like, it's so easy to build. So, yeah. I'm gonna finish up the drawers. Okay, progress. So, I'm measuring out the rod. Um, these are actually curtain rods, you guys. I just did not want to do the basic white rods, although the white rods are very pretty and match really pretty. I wanted to, like, give this closet a little bit of a custom feel to it. So I wanted gold clothing rods and little gold accents, so I'm also going to have, like, the gold handles. But, yeah, I was just measuring, like, to make sure the clothes are going to fit right. In this space and it is absolutely perfect so we're gonna drill this in we're gonna add another one to that side okay guys ignore my laptop I'm watching an art class movie a movie for my art class and I'm trying to multitask I'm like watching it while I build and unbox things so I got my impressions mirror out of the box yeah, you guys did not want to see how crazy that was. <laughs> and um, the next thing I'm building is my vanity. I'm missing some shelves over here, so um, that's gonna just stay like that. And I did add things because I wanted to measure, make sure certain things matched. 
For example, I wanted to make sure the gold on these pink hangers matched. I will link these pink hangers down below. I wanted to make sure the clothes were high enough for me to be able to like maybe put some things here if I wanted to. Um, I wanted to make sure I could fit bags how I want to and then I wanted to make sure that I can fit shoes how I want to so that I know what height to make the shelves, if that makes sense. So yeah, we got the gold rods. Basically this is done except for that last unit. I did put some belts as well because I wanted to make sure that the height of the buckles fit and like that the height was correct on these and yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and open this and then we're gonna get to building this vanity. I'm working on building the drawers to the impressions vanity now and I wanted to give you guys some tips if you buy this vanity or building this vanity um, it's a pretty fragile vanity I'm not gonna deny that but there are little ways that I like to build it that make it easier I don't necessarily follow the directions I already built a couple of these before once for myself once for friends so and then I've also built the, the tall tower of them so these drawers are like really tedious. So what I like to do is start out with the frame. So I prep, I do what I like to call prepping the frame. That's not the order it's gonna give you in the instructions. It's gonna tell you to build all the drawers. I don't like to do that. So I prep the frame. So what I do is I add these, which obviously the drawers are going to, those are the tracks for the drawers. So I make sure I add all the tracks for all the drawers. Um, you will know that this is the backside of the of the drawer because it has this line so we know this is the front side right on all the pieces and this this black square goes on all the front sides of the pieces so yeah that's how i prep it and these actually come attached like this so you're just gonna pull them apart and then you're just gonna like bend this and it's going to easily come out so the first time i did this i broke one because i didn't know it did that and yeah it, I broke one because it doesn't really tell you in the instructions how to do it so yeah in order to take these apart you're gonna push these these are gonna go attached to the drawers with the little black thing these are gonna go attached to the frame so I also add these thingies that are gonna attach the frame together I added the little lock thingies as well so I just prep the entire frame I build the frames and then I build the drawers at the end that way I can put a movie or whatever because building the drawers is like super tea. Hopefully those tips help you. And uh, yeah, back end of the drawers, front end of the drawers. These black pieces go towards the front always. Okay guys, I didn't really get to close out the vlog, but this is how far I got with my vanity. And this is all I was able to do before I had to fly home for a week. And I flew home because I'm getting my veneer fixed, as I told you guys. So this is how the entire room is looking. We've gotten really, really far. I can't wait to do a part two video of me actually like making everything pretty but i hope you guys enjoyed the tips and tricks and enjoyed watching me build everything and putting everything together all right guys i love y'all and i will see you in the next video